What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Walt Dog, turning to coming back at you again with another video for the crib. And before this video starts, make sure you guys go check out my social media and click that link if you guys want to make a donate. But um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And don't forget to drop a comment down below on what you guys think. Now, I am yet to make my prediction on the Super Bowl for tomorrow. Um, to be honest with you, it kind of slipped my mind because, like, I... I it's tough, especially if you're a Saints fan, especially if you're a Chiefs fan. It's it's really tough to watch this game because like you felt like we were supposed to be there, but it but things didn't turn out the way we were supposed to. It, it's kind of crazy how both the MVP candidates lose and they both had home field advantage and both home field teams lose. It's crazy, right? But it is what it is, and I'm, and I'm not going to hold anything against them about that. I mean, it, what was done, you know what I'm saying, it's done. You know, uh, we can't go back, we can't change it. Uh, it's over. Um, we both, hopefully, we both can get back get back at it uh, next year. I mean, that's all I can really say. But, um, yeah, tomorrow is a big game for the Saints and the – how do I say Saints? Oh, my bad, y'all. For the Rams and the Patriots. No disrespect to the Rams. So, man, um, this game can really go either way. If you look at it um, – I feel like no. I feel like no. No team really has. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. The, the Rams kind of have an edge on the defense. Um, if the Patriots are able to obtain Don, Aaron Donald, I feel like they have a great chance of winning this game. Aaron Donald has to play a big part in this game in order for the Rams to win. Aaron Donald has to get back there and apply pressure to Tom Brady. If Aaron Donald Ha doesn't have the game that he's supposed to, the Rams will lose. Because you know why? Because let me tell you what the Patriots are going to do. What the Patriots do best then, they don't have nobody like really stopped. They like to keep that clock down low. They like to pound the ball. And they like to throw them short passes. If you don't stop that, that is going to, that is going to, that's going to hurt you in the end. It's going to hurt you. Because like, with them put, put with them putting that clock down, they have experience. With them putting that clock down and pounding the ball, and they score a touchdown, and your offense comes out, and your offense doesn't come out firing right. You know, you guys do three and outs, and and it's right back to them. And they do the same thing over and over again. They're going to win the game by doing that. And what they have, what the Rams have to do is they have to put they have to put a lot of pressure on Tom Brady. They put pressure on Tom Brady, and they get back there and they apply pressure, and they they stop them from running the ball. There's no doubt that the Rams will be victorious when victorious Monday. I say Monday tomorrow, but at the same time, it's experience and they have a lot of experience. They have way more experience than you know than the Rams. But um, the Rams they have some experienced players uh, that that played in Super Bowl before. C.J. Anderson he played in Super Bowl before. Um, Akeem Talib he played in the Super Bowl before. Um, my my thing about the Rams is they they have they have. They're they're balanced. They're they're good on both sides of the ball. So it's not like oh, it's not like the Kansas City Chiefs where we were just fantastic on the offensive side, but on the defense side we were just horrible. They have they both were their both sides are good. And um, my main concern about the Patriots um, tomorrow, like going into facing the Rams, is they have to stop that 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 duo. They have to they have to they have to stop as C J Anderson. They have to stop Ty Gurley. C J Anderson is the man that does the dirty work. C.J. Anderson is hard to stop. He's the wrecking ball. You have you Patriots. You guys, you guys have to stop C.J. Anderson. He is he is the guy that that gets that shit rolling. Stop him. But I don't know if it's going. I don't know if that's possible. And they have to stop the lead rusher, Todd Gurley. That's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. And how I look at it, it's going to be hard to stop them. And then Brandon Cooks, he's looking for vengeance. You know, um, last year he played with the uh, the Patriots. And he, he took a brutal hit, and he had to leave the game. And um, then the, the Patriots they let him go. But Brandon Cook, he's looking for vengeance. He he wants that. He wants this more than everything. Going up against his former team and playing for a chance to win the Super Bowl. Brandon Cook is going to have a game. He's going to have a ball. You know, he's going yeah, he's going he's going to ball out. And um, but like I said, this game can really go either way because the Patriots they have good defense too. They they can apply pressure and drill golf. He can get he can get pressure and if he can he, he can sometimes fold. Which which would probably lead them to uh, run that ball more, but at the same like I said at the same time this game can go either way. If it becomes a shootout, um, I'm about, I, 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 if it becomes a shootout, I have to choose Tom Brady in the shootout. But if the but like I said, if the Rams are able to come in and apply that pressure to Tom Brady, the Rams are winning. Who do I have in this game? 
Um, I have, I have the, I have the, I have the Rams winning this game. Now, I'm not hating on Tom Brady. It's nothing like that. It's just, the, it's just the simple fact that you have to look at both sides of the ball. I mean, they have, they have Marcus Peters, they have a keep to lead, and they have, and they have a good defensive line. And I feel like it's gonna be hard to obtain all them players, especially Aaron Donald. It's gonna be hard to obtain Aaron Donald if they double team him all night. Then it, you know, and he doesn't play like he's supposed to. Then the Patriots they'll, they'll have the edge. But like I said, I just don't, I just don't see the, the Patriots winning this game tomorrow. Um, I just don't see it. Uh, last year I was going for the Patriots to beat the Eagles, and the Eagles they flat out dominated the Patriots, and I was just sitting there looking like, God damn. But I have the Rams winning this game, you know, uh, not because they beat the Chiefs or nothing like that. It's just a simple fact that I feel like they have the better team going into this game. But at the same time, Tom Brady did, they did dominate the Chargers, and I was shocked at that. So, um, I don't know. I mean, this, this is my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Um, it's tough watching this game. It's tough. But, um... We're gonna be all right, but anyway, it's about one, three. I'm out here, peace. Let me know what you guys think. Who who's winning this game? Do you guys got Tom Brady the goat going on his sixth ring? Tom Brady is the goat. I get, I'll give credit when it's due. Tom Brady is the goat. If he gets this ring, there's no doubt that Tom Brady sits on the top. And of course, he already he's already on the throne. He's the Thanos of the of the AFC and NFL. But anyway, um, you got Tom Brady the goat, or you got this this young squad, the Rams, man. Who y'all got, man? It's, anyway, it's about water I'm out your peace. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and don't forget to leave a like and drop a comment down below. Hey.